Honestly, when I first started doing Tony Bolognese, I used to get high as all hell, and I'd come up with recipes. In college, I was the guy at two, three in the morning in my dorm room making buffalo chicken ramen noodles, and I was just having fun with it. So in 2006, my father said to me, hey, you should buy this building with me in Atlantic City. And I said, you know what? If I'm gonna give a go at this, let me like really give a go at it. And I then opened up Tony Bologna's as we know it. I never worked in a restaurant before. I never really had a real job before. I always owned my own business. And I was like, you know what? I retooled everything, made everything from scratch, just figured it out myself and opened up as Tony Bologna's. And since then, we've been doing our thing. This is like Passover brisket on a pizza, and you say the prayer if you want. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Halam, Tony Bologna's, I don't know how to say Tony Bologna's in Hebrew. Oh. My philosophy from the beginning with Tony Bologna's is not only make everything from scratch and whatever it is, it's like we're here to please the customer. I'm part Italian Jewish grandmother and part pizzeria owner, honestly. And I always think about like what my mom would do or what my grandmother would do. And if people are in need and I am able to fulfill that need, first and foremost, I'm just gonna do it. And it's important that we give back to the community, not just because sometimes the community needs things, but it's nice to show that support. It's nice to meet your neighbors. It's nice to be a part of those things. And that's what makes me happy. And as long as we can do that while growing or while expanding, then we're gonna keep doing it that way. We don't really have any limits. We do what we wanna do. We do it how we wanna do it. We enjoy doing it, and I think the customers appreciate that, and uh, that's where it goes. Oh my God, my favorite people, hands down.